YouTube, what's up everybody? Hey, I know it's been a while, um, probably about two weeks, but um, today I'm back here with another review and uh, I wanted to talk about another hobby and passion of mine, which is um, shoes. Uh, I am a shoe collector, I am a sneakerhead, I guess you can call it, but um, the thing about me is as I've gotten older, I've gotten a lot better with my shoe selections as far as um, how many pairs of shoes I own. Um, before I moved to Florida about four or five years ago, I actually had uh, close to 300 pairs of shoes. When I moved here, I realized how much, how many shoes I had and I started selling them immediately. Got my collection down to 150, cut it in half, then I cut it down to 100 and I just counted um, right before this video and I'm down to 80. And I'm going to be selling some more and so I'm um, hopefully trying to get it down to 50. That does include about 15 work shoes as well. So, um, But sneakers is what I have the most of and the thing is, is I just can't wear them all. can't wear all of these shoes. I only get to wear them on the weekends or in the evenings and so you know, I just can't rotate through that many pairs of shoes. So um, 50 is, is going to be now my, my limit and cutoff. And then as I buy new shoes, I'll just sell some other ones that I no longer want. So anyway, make the long story short, I am here to review um, a very unique shoe which came in a huge, huge Nike box. And the thing about me is that um, I like unique shoes, probably shoes that most of you would look at and be like, what the hell is that? And why did you buy it? Um, and I think Nike makes some of the best unique shoes. Some of them are very weird. Some of them are very strange. But hey, I like them because I'm just that type of uh, nerdy type of guy at times. So these right here came in the biggest Nike box I think I've had. Minus, you know, some of the Jordan collaboration packs where there may be two shoes in one. You know, those kind of packs come in huge boxes. But as far as a standalone shoe, this is probably the biggest box I have. And you should see the box that it came in when it was shipped. The thing was huge. It literally looked like three shoe boxes could have fit in there. So that's how big. I don't know if you can really tell by the camera, but this box is huge. This is a size 12. And this is the Nike React Boot. And it is the undefeated version of it. And uh, I just recently made this purchase because they sold out at first when this shoe was first released and I couldn't get it. And uh, I've been hitting my Nike clearance stores here in Orlando. Can't find them there either. And so the brown boot actually popped back up on Nike's website. And they have a few sizes in those. The black ones are still sold out. I actually like the brown ones better because it has more of a multicolor, cool feel to it. Uh, cool look to it. But um, I like the black ones too. The only problem is... Uh, when I started researching this boot on YouTube and online, there's only like three videos out there of people reviewing it. They're not in depth and they're really not that good. So um, I thought, hey, if anyone else is interested, let me do a review of this boot. So without further ado, let's open this puppy up. Again, this thing is huge, man. Um, tissue paper, undercover tissue paper. It's kind of cool. And here we go. Nike React Undercover Boot. Now, this is a size 12, so I don't know how it's going to look on camera. But this thing is big. Let me let me just say that up front. It's not big as in like a, a you know, it, it's it's a big boot as far as the height and as far as the, the length as well. But it is one of the most unique, coolest looking boots ever. This thing right here gives you early access to the Prometheus spaceship. You know, it, it gives you access to other other worlds on the Enterprise. I mean, this thing right here gives you all access to uh, to space. Period. This this is what we're talking about right here. So, with that being said, um, I love the thing. I, I love this boot, man. But the problem is, is where in the world am I going to wear it here in Florida? I mean, it's 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 just nowhere. I don't really know where I can go with this thing. Um, it's very comfortable though, and I'm gonna go into that in just a second. As far as how this thing feels, it's very, very comfy. It's bouncy. It's soft. Um, it's really not that hot on my foot. But again, you know, I've only worn it inside, not outside, as of yet. I'm sure it can get hot. 
but uh, there is a zipper here to actually, let me go down this a little bit. There is a zipper here that you actually can zip, you know, to, to help with that um, ventilation piece, because I'm sure this thing can get hot. And I've only unzipped this one time, so um, you can zip it up all the way for a tighter fit or of course a more ventilated, looser fit, you unzip it like so. Um, yeah, it has some really cool uh, rubber like grips right here to put the shoe on. Um, and the, just the styling of it, man, I think it's just a really, really cool, unique boot. Um, and I'm, I will do an on feet and I will do, uh, you know, what it looks like with um, some Nike joggers and such. But I like it. It's just where in the world am I going to wear it? <laughs> and so I'm contemplating on whether keeping it or not. You know, um, if I find them in a, in a clearance store for cheaper than what I got them for, um, then I'll do that. Or I may just return them back to Nike and say, forget the whole thing. Another cool thing, which I don't think I'll ever need just by trying them on, they come with this little pump. And the pump actually compresses air or releases air on the back portion of the shoe right here to make it a tighter or a looser fit as well. They're actually like air, I mean, uh, bubble pockets inside of these right here, which actually can um, make the uh, make the foot, make the shoe more tighter or more looser in, in this area right here. So, you know, I think that's pretty cool, but I seriously doubt if I need it. I don't think it's tight or loose. I think it's a perfect fit as is, but of course, for some people, they say that these run small or they run too big, so I guess they use the pump to make it an adequate fit. But for me, I don't need the pump. I went with true to size. I wear a size 12. This is a size 12. It fits me fine. And so um, I don't think the pump is really going to come in handy for me. Again, uh, the colorway of this shoe, let me see the exact colors they put on here, Amber Rise and... I thought it said barbecue brown, but it's barbecue brown. I'm not sure exactly uh, how to pronounce that, but some type of brown and amber rise, which is, you know, it has different multicolor browns in it. It has the actual, um, like a light blue. This is more like a rubbery part right here. Um, they kind of remind me of something that ACG would put out, all condition gear would put out, but again, uh, it's, it's, it's not ACG, it's, um, it's just the undercover styling of it. So really, really cool boot, man. Um, I do like the black ones as well. The bottom of it, I really like this as well. It seems like it's gonna give a lot of grip. Has the blue icy, I don't even know what you would call this. Um, trying to think of something scientific or something sci-fi-ish to describe this grip, but it's really cool. Um, yeah, so. Really, really cool boot. So let me do the on foot for you guys. I um, know you've seen this before, but I wanted to do a a uh, a better review than some of the other ones out there. Give you guys an on foot, see how it looks on foot. Not just use the handles to pull it on; they fit fine. When I first saw these handles, I was like, "Oh, these are these handles are like they may break at any moment." But no, they're, they're pretty. Uh, they're on. Of course, they're on. They're tight. I mean, I'm sure they did some type of quality control, but yeah, it's a pretty unique looking uh handle to put on the shoe and these fit me fine i'm gonna I'm give you i guess the only thing that i can really relate to what these feel like on foot is if you ever had any of the um columbia winter boots you know the ones that are kind of insulated but not really but yet um i can't remember the name of them i used to have back in the day um hold on guys i can actually do a better angle of these okay on feet so yeah so this is the actual boot on foot and as you can see um, I have on the uh, tech fleece Nike jogger so of course they kind of fit inside of the boot um, that's what it looks like when it's unzipped let me zip it up zip both of these up actually and yeah it looks like I'm literally getting ready to uh, stomp, stomp an alien's ass real quick. But um, yeah, this is it, man. So 
to me on foot they don't look that big I mean they look like my normal size 12 shoe of any shoe I would wear like a Jordan of course they're more higher up in, in height so that probably uh, offsets the length a little bit I do like them I'm not gonna lie I think this is a cool looking boot it's just where the hell am I gonna wear it is the question and for as much as these cost retail is $250 I didn't pay $250 for them but um, what I did pay was still a lot of money so it's kind of like, but it wasn't, it wasn't even 200, let's put it that way. But still, it's just whether or not am I really going to need to wear these and where I'm going to wear them. And so, that being said, I did the, you can see that my actual tech fleece joggers fit inside of the boot. Which um, I think is the best way to wear these is with some pants that will fit inside of it just because of the look of the boot. Um, anything going over it like a boot cut jean or boot cut pants uh, is really to me not going to bring out what this boot is made for which is mostly to me just attention it's more of a um, uh, what do you call it cosmetic thing than performance or anything but I will say it has the react technology in it this boot is comfortable like it's bouncy it's soft inside I feel like I can go running in these things like seriously um, I really feel like I could I could go out and run a mile or two in them with no problem. Uh, that's how comfortable they are. This is probably the comfortable boot that I own, and I own a good number of boots from Cole Haan, Timberland, all of that stuff. These are some comfortable boots. Um, but I expect that from Nike, especially with the React technology in there. So your feet aren't going to hurt in them at all. It's definitely going to be comfortable. I don't feel like they're hot. Um, it's just that you know with something as unique as this. You got to really decide on where the hell am I going to wear this out at. But, you know, just casually to the movies or just out and about, I wouldn't mind, you know, doing it. Maybe special occasions or just some weird occasions, I wear them out. You know, I'm the type of person where I may go out on South Beach in these things with some trunks on. You know what I mean? Just because. So, hey. But, uh, but yeah, so let me give you more of a close-up of the shoe on foot. Looks like, bam, bam, bam. And of course, I got the tag still hanging on this, just in case I gotta return these babies. But uh, got the back, and then uh, the other side up here. So yeah, so that's about it. And again. As I tell everyone, these are true to size. Um, I wouldn't worry about uh, going up or down again, because even if you had to do that, uh, you got this pump that could that could change that. It could lock it in, make it a little bit tighter, a little bit looser for you guys. So, you know, I wouldn't worry about whether or not you got to, uh, uh, you know, if you're half size down or half size up, because they only have a few sizes left in this shoe. Again, remember, it sold out in the beginning. So if it does sell out again, and maybe they got a half size up or down of your size, I think you'd be good either way. Because again, you can tighten it with the pump or loosen it. But I definitely wouldn't go a full size up or down. Stick with your size if possible. So yeah. Other than that, guys, um, that is about it. And I uh, just wanted to do that review real quick for those of you guys who are interested in that shoe. Because like me, I didn't really find too many videos out there. Um, you know about it or really someone showing on foot or, and giving more in-depth information about it uh, again it retails for two hundred and fifty dollars um, you know I've been checking it now the black version of this is a lot more uh, how can I say um, user-friendly meaning it's not as crazy with the colors it looks more like a like a regular boot than this one does this looks definitely out of spacious Outer spacious, outer spacious. Okay, anyway, um, outer space like the black one um, looks more like a regular boot. Like you know, you could probably get away with you know no one really looking down at your foot on this one. On I mean on the black one, but this one right here, you're definitely going to get stares. Like there's no doubt about it. The thing about the Nike website is, is you have to check at least once a day to see what new sizes pop up when something's sold out. You'd be surprised at how many things pop up. Um, but 
the best time to do it is early in the morning or late at night. Usually the best time is early in the morning to check if something restocks or if a size comes back in, probably due to a return or something like that. Um, early in the morning, because by later, by mid morning, other people are checking and it's gone. So if you're really interested in this boot and you wear a different size they don't have, just keep checking once a day early in the morning. I would say between seven and nine in the morning and uh, check to see if they have your size. That's just a hint, a tip um, from me that uh, I find useful when I'm looking for a certain size of a shoe that's sold out. Other than that, if you have any questions about it, leave any comments below. Um, and yeah, I'll check you out in the next video. Peace.